Michaela Vernava in the Nesson Studios along with Marcus Omard. The U.S. women's national team is looking to win their first World Cup since 1999. Marcus, what are their chances? Uh, their chances are very good. I wrote the other day that all the conditions are in place for them to succeed. They've got a lot of talent, a lot of depth, a lot of versatility, and uh, they're more athletic than any other team. So uh, they'll really be gunning for their, for their title. They haven't won in a long time. They lost in 2011 on penalty kicks to Japan. And a lot of the team, are, a lot of that team are still, re they're still on this year's team and they really want to win it. Who are the biggest stars we should have our eyes on? Well, uh, of course, these are the, the girls of summer, as I like to call them. There's uh, Hope Solo, who's um, the best goalkeeper in the world, you know, despite all the controversy. Um, the two center backs, Becky Sauerbrunn and Christy Rampone, uh, very experienced, very, they're, they're just capable of stopping anybody. Um, Megan Rapino, she's one of the wingers, very talented, provides services to uh, the forwards. Abby Wambach, top goal scorer in U.S. in sorry women's soccer history, and Alex Morgan, who's the young star. And what are the weaknesses that might hold this team back? Well, there are two things. One is the tournament will will take place on turf. Uh, a lot of these players play on grass fields for their clubs. Uh, most international games are on grass. Uh, and the other I see is their, their coach, Jill Ellis. Uh, she's not experienced at this level. Um, in, her, in her background, she had a lengthy career as a college coach, didn't win any titles there. So uh, she's really going for her first championship. Um, I don't know if it's a weakness, but it's something to watch. Thank you, Marcus. Keep up with all your soccer news on Nesson.com.